So lately, I feel like denim has been on a roller coaster of trends and new trends are popping out every season. So in today's video, what I want to talk about is six denim trends that are currently popular, my thoughts on each, how you can wear them, and I'm also going to give you some options of where you can buy each trend. Now at the end, I'm going to have a poll and you can vote which trend you think is the most popular. So I would love to hear what you guys think. So the first trend that I want to talk about is faded or washed out denim. Now I feel that this trend has really been picking up lately and one really great feature about it is that it's a less dye heavy alternative to the really dark indigo jeans. Which means it's a great thing because it won't be bleeding onto your shoes or your clothes which as you know is annoying when you wear really dark washed denim. So naturally, I personally think that a faded or washed out pair of denim should definitely be in your wardrobe. It's a great alternative and it really adds a vintage look to your complete outfit. You can find great alternatives in Gap, Scotch and Soda, and Zara all produce really nicely faded or washed out denim that I think you can look into. The next one is the OG and this is raw denim. There's never gonna be a season where raw denim is not trending or in style. The great thing with raw denim is that each pair distresses and molds differently depending on the wear. So the more you wear it, the less you wash it, the more it distresses and molds and it looks like a completely different custom pair of jeans after maybe a year of wearing so. Now raw denim can get pricey, but some places that carry nice raw denim jeans are Levi's, Combatant Gentlemen and APC all carry really nice selvage denim that's going to last you years. Now keep in mind that a key feature to pull off any denim style is your belt and what style you're going to wear. So say you're going for the dressed up look, then you're going to want to pick up a leather belt to match that look. If you want to dress down your denim, maybe with some sneakers, then pick up a casual belt that's going to set the tone for your outfit. This is why I love ants and belts. I have three straps and two buckles, which allows, which gives me so many combinations that allows me to adjust to any outfit or any style that I'm trying to pull off with my denim. So if I want to go dressy, I grab the leather belt. If I want to go casual, I grab my casual cotton belt and just switch the buckle on it. And the great thing is that I have very thick thighs and a small waist, so I usually have to buy jeans that are a little bit bigger on the waist just so it can fit my thighs. So usually these micro adjustable belts are great to really help me keep my jeans nicely snug and tight. So it's, if that's a problem you're having, definitely check out these belts because I think it's going to help solve your issue. I'm going to have Anson belts linked down below so you guys can check them out and I highly recommend you look at the three strap and two buckle deal. It's the most bang for your buck giving you the most combinations for the lowest price value. So it's a great deal to have, which will give you so many combinations to allow you to style in almost any outfit. Now the third denim trend that's going on is distressed denim. Now in this type of style, I personally would tell you not to invest too much into it. There's some high-end brands where you can buy distressed jeans for 205, even up to, a, I've seen distressed jeans for 1,500. So they can get stupid expensive just because they're trending and popular. But keep in mind, fashion is fickle. So something that's trending now, like this trendy piece, it's not gonna be in style a year from now. So my recommendation would be avoid spending too much into this trend. It, it is trendy and it is gonna die down probably a year or two years from now. And then you're gonna be stuck with all these jeans that you no longer wear. The fourth denim trend is skinny jeans, which in reality, wide jeans or larger cuts have never really been in style when it comes to men's fashion. And something that always does stay in style is skinny or slim cuts. And right now, mostly skinny cuts because the current trend is to stack your denim. Ideally, the closer to the body the denim is and the tighter the leg opening, the more you can show off your shoe, which is usually what is looked for when you're looking for skinny or slim cuts. However, you do want to be careful that you don't end up looking like a sausage in your denim because then you just look ridiculous. However, if you have skinny legs or just a skinny guy overall, skinny or slim denim is definitely a trend that could work for you because of your body frame. So if you want great slim or skinny cut jeans, H&M, Zara, Paxson, and ASOS all produce really close cut denim that is super affordable. The fifth denim trend are moto jeans or biker jeans. Essentially, these are biker inspired jeans with 
ribbed accents running across from it. Some even have zippers on it. This is also a very trendy item that like the like my previous tip, I won't recommend you guys to invest too much into. Now Bauman is probably the brand that really made this mainstream, but instead of paying all that money for a pair of jeans, go to fast fashion stores like Paxson or ASOS that pretty much rip off the design and you can get them for 20, 30 bucks. And finally the sixth style trend, and this is one that I will never understand nor wear, nor do I recommend, and that is crop denim. For some reason, it's growing pretty fast, originating in the street style scene with crop trousers, it's now moving to crop denim. Personally, I just don't see what's aesthetically pleasing from it, and I feel it just doesn't flatter your body frame. Crop denim is usually paired with tube socks and trainers, and if you ask me, I feel cholos have been pulling off this look for years now, and the fashion scene is just catching up. So if you don't wanna look like a cholo, I probably wouldn't recommend wearing crop denim. All right guys, so that's it for me in this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, my main tip on top of all this would be stick to the classics and invest in those. It is much better to pay two, $300 for a pair of raw denim that you can wear five years than a pair of ripped jeans for $500 that you'll wear one, maybe two seasons. So stick to the classics. And if you wanna go down the trendy approach, Go to fast fashion stores and invest less money in these because most likely next year they won't be in style. So that's it for me in this week's video, guys. I'm going to have Anson Belts linked down below. Don't forget to check out the poll as well at top. Would love to hear your feedback down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.